So we actually know what all three of these already mean. And so let's take a look at, let's look at each one. So is, obviously you'll remember, when we're back when we started, is means equal. Of means multiply, and percent means divide by 100, as we've said. Now, if you see the word what number or what percent, each of those are going to give me one more thing, which is going to be a variable x. Because when we don't know something, that's going to be our variable x. So now, let's take a look at some word problems and get right into this. But all we need to know for this is is, of, and percent. Is means equal to, of means multiply, percent means divide by 100. Let's check out some word problems. Okay, here's our first one. 72 is what percent of 300? Well, let's find out what we've got here. First of all, let's just define each of these words in terms of math. Is means equal to what is going to be my x. Percent means divide by 100. Of means multiply. And then I have a 72 and I have a 300. Okay, well, what does that look like? Well, it looks just like it says. 72 equals x and I'm going to say this, divide by 100 looks like this, divide by 100 times by 300. Okay, well, let's look and see what's happening to the x. x is being divided by 100 and multiplied by 300. Remember, how do you solve an equation? You undo what's being done to the variable. Let me say that again. To, un to solve an equation, you undo what's being done to the variable. Here's how we're going to solve this equation. Since x is being divided by 100 and multiplied by 300. How we're going to solve this equation is to take that same x divide by 100 times by 300. And we're going to do this. And watch how I'm going to write this. At the same time, is I'm going to multiply by 100 and at the same time divide by 300. So whatever a numerator, and by the way, like 300 is like 300 over 1. So the numerator goes to the bottom. A denominator goes to the top. And I do the same thing on the other side of the equal sign. So it's going to be 100 over 300 times 72. Now, it is going to be just this simple because watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to do all of this work on a calculator. First of all, let's take care of this part here. If you notice, look at the times the way this multiplies out. 100 and 100, they cancel out. 300 and 300 cancels out. All that's left is x. What I have to do now is find out what does 100 over 300 times 72 equal, and I'm going to use the calculator for that. So when I put my calculator on, it's going to look just like this. We had 100 over 300 times 72, and I work it out, and I have now found the answer is 24. Remember, the question said, what percent? Well, we came up with 24. It is 24 percent. And we have answered that question. It's as simple as that. Now, when you're working on your coursework and you get to one that looks like this, what you'll want to do is follow along with this, work one out, watch the DVD, and see how to do this following along when you're looking for what percent. Play this part and work the problem out as you're looking. So now, let's take a look at another kind of problem where the x will be in a different part of the problem. So this time, we see it says what number. Well, what number is going to be my x? Is means equal. 32% means 32. Divide by 100 and then multiply by 250. Now, when I see this, if I look at what's happening, let's write this out, 32 divided by 100. It looks like this. x equals 32 divided by 100 times 250. Now watch this. What's happening to x? Absolutely nothing. It's just x. So all of the work happens right here. And all I have to do is go in on the calculator and work out what this is. And this problem is complete. Watch how easy this is. This is going to be just like this. 32 over 100 times 250. And I have got my answer. 
By the way, just in case, if you're wondering, 32 over 100, and we said 32 divided by 100, you will get the same answer. Notice that the answer was 80. Watch this. 32 divided by 100 times 250 is going to also give me my 80. So whether you do it as a fraction or you use the division sign, either way, you're going to get 80 for an answer, and x equals 80. Now that's actually done and complete, and we can go on to the next example. So let's take a look at this one. This says 57.6, or 57 and 6 tenths, is 120% of what number? Okay, well, let's just translate this into an equation. 57.6 is, is going to be my equal sign. 120% means 120 divided by 100, or I can write it as a fraction, 120 over 100, times we don't know. All right, well, let's take a look at what that looks like. 57.6 equals 120 divided by 100. I'm going to write it as a fraction, and you'll see why. Because if I look at now, here's x. What's happening to x? It's literally being multiplied by 120 and divided by 100 at the same time. How do we undo that? Well, we're going to do exactly the opposite of multiply by 120, and that is divide by 120, and at the same time, instead of dividing by 100, we're going to times by 100. And remember, whatever I do on one side, I'm going to do on the other, so I'm going to come over here and multiply by 100, and at the same time, divide by 120, which I'm going to do totally on the calculator, so watch what's going to happen. And you can see the fractions. Think of x over 1 like a fraction. 100 cancels with 100, 120 cancels with 120, and I am left with x. All I have to do now is go in and find out what this is equal to, given that I have my information right here that says that I'm going to pop into the calculator 100 over 120 times 57.6, and look at that, I got the number 48. By the way, I could do this exactly the same way, where I could do 100 divided by 120, and then times by 57.6, and when I do, I still get 48. And did you notice on the calculator that 100 divided by 120 was a very long decimal? As a matter of fact, it's a repeating decimal. That's why I like to use the calculator and use the fractions, and then I'm going to turn around and times that by a decimal, and I still get that number 48. So we're going to take a look at one more example, and in this last example, you'll see again how to work with these words just as they're set up, creating an equation and then solving the equation the way you know how, then you'll be off to do coursework. Let's take a look at one more example, and this says 21.75 is what percent of 145? Okay, well, remember, there's my equal sign, my x value, my what, percent means divide by 100, there's my time sign. So let's create an equation, 21.75 equals, or is, what percent, we don't know, x divided by 100, so I'm going to say x over 100 times 145, and if I go to look at this now, I have an equation where x is being divided by 100 and multiplied by 145, so I'm going to do the exact opposite of that to solve the equation. Well, instead of dividing by 100, I'm going to multiply by 100, and instead of multiplying by 145, we'll divide by 145. It'll look like this. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to divide by 145, since that's the one doing the multiply, and instead of divide by 100, I will multiply by 100, and I've literally created fractions that will have some things cancel out. On this side, now I can say this, that since I'm going to multiply both sides by 100 over 45, or multiply by 100 while dividing by 145, and I'm going to do this right on the calculator, if you notice, the 100, 100 cancels out, 145 cancels out with 145, and all we have to do now is go in and put this on the calculator, and we will find out what that's going to be, and it's going to look like this, that we have 100, and I can say either over 145, and then I'm going to multiply it by my number, 21.75, and notice that the calculator goes ahead and reduces that for me. That's kind of a nice feature, too. When I multiply that, I find out that the number is 15. So now I've found that. I also can do this the other way. That says 100 divided by 145 times 21.75, and same thing again. I'm going to get that same 15 like I got the first time I did this. So what did I find out? Well, the question asked, what percent? So I found out that my x came out to 15. My answer is 15%.
and I have completed that problem. Now, it is just that simple, and now you're going to be looking at coursework for yourself. Just remember the words, is means equal, of means multiply, and percent means divide by 100, and whenever you see the word what, that's your variable x. So, of course, do the coursework, check your coursework when you're done, and join us in the next section.